Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. If you're new to the channel then hit that subscribe button uh, so you receive all the future updates of our new videos and also hit that bell notification button so you're notified as soon as those new videos come out. And lastly, as always, if you do enjoy this video, it would be much appreciated if you give it a like. Uh, it not only shows me what you want to see more of and what content you like, but obviously it does help out with that YouTube algorithm. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, sourcing data from the internet. So in the example we're going to use today, uh, we're going to do a currency conversion with data from the web. Uh, so let's step, step through what I'm trying to do and then the reason why it is beneficial to get it from the web. So I'm looking to do a, a currency conversion. So let's say I've got a hundred uh, pounds and we'll call that We'll put this put a little symbol in here so we can see. Oh, I actually don't even need to do that. So that's the amount is 100. And I'm just going to center all these as well just to get the formatting right. And this local currency is uh, pounds, so GBP. And I want to convert that to a US dollar amount. So I know off the top of my head it's around about um, $1.29 to the pound. So all I need to do here is I go 100 times 1.29 gives me what the dollar equivalent is of my 100 uh, pounds. So that's great. Uh, obviously, if you're just doing one simple conversion, it's very simple to do it as a one-off. But if you're going to have, if you're looking at multiple currencies, and this is maybe something that you want to update daily, this is where it could become very beneficial to have a, a source for your uh, currency conversions. Um, and obviously something was going to auto automatically update rather than you having to go through and update uh, each day the new exchange rates uh, for every single one of those currencies. So this is a really simple uh, feature built into Excel. All we need to do is we go into our page where we want to actually store the data. And all we need to do is, uh, well actually before we do that, before we put it in there, first I'm just going to draw attention to this website. So the website is xe.com and they have this section for currency tables. Uh, so obviously you can do the different select drop downs depending on what currency you want to exchange to and obviously what day you want to do. So the real benefit of this as well is if you want to go back in time and look at a historical amount you can use this else you can just get it obviously for the, the current day in question. So all we need to do once I'm on this page and you can see the URL up here if you want to copy that out is just copy this address and then we can step back into Excel. I want my data to be in this data tab or the sheet I've already renamed as data. So I was going to go into cell A1 and I'm going to go to my data tab. And then from here, I'm going to go to get and transform data, but select the option here from web. That will then bring up this uh, pop up. And we don't need to worry about advanced, we're going to just stick with basic here. So in here, I was going to enter the URL, but I've just copied and select OK. Excel is now going to be looking at that website and obviously connecting with it to look at what information is stored on that page. We've got two options here. We can either see a table view, so just tell us the information, or we can actually see a web view. So it might be a bit easier if you're trying to navigate the website to find what you're looking for. But all we need to really do is go to table view and you can step through each of the ones or each of these display options it's found. And you can see there's some information here under document. We found live currency rates, so that's obviously a table just showing currency conversions for those few currencies. But what I'm really after is this table zero here. And you can see that by selecting that, it's actually picked out the whole table of all the exchange rates that we're interested in. And if we just get back to that page, you can see it's this table that we've got listed here. So it's literally just sort, pick, selected out the table and its contents. So I'm happy that that's what I want to go with. All I need to then do is click the load button and Excel will now obviously start sourcing that information and it will pull it into, um, into the sheet for us. And what I've done there is I've made a mistake. It's obviously put it into a new sheet so I can get rid of my data one because it's not where it's intended. But then if I go into sheet four and I can just now call, uh, rename this data as I intended. All I now need to do is when I go into my currency convert, or well, let's call this one conversion, is rather than having to do this manually, all I now need to do is go a little VLOOKUP. So let's do VLOOKUP. I want to look for that currency and I want to look in my data table. And there's, you can see GBP is in there in row four. And because I'm converting $2, uh, I just want to get this last one here, so column D. So I need to get the, the value from the fourth column. And then you can see I've got my exchange rate there. And so I pull the exchange rate. So all I now need to do is go equals this amount 
times the result of that VLOOKUP, and there is my US dollar amount. And then what I can do is obviously just tidy this up with a bit of formatting. And it's as simple as that. And then again, the benefit with this is I can now go and select any um, other currency of interest. So let's go for Mexican peso, so that's MXN. And the currency conversion is automatically going to update for us. And ultimately, if we then have other values down here as well, let's pick some random numbers. Let's just pick the copy the formatting down again, because that, if not, it looks really horrible on the eye. And let's say Euro, um, can't think of any other currencies now off the top of my head. Uh, let's go IDR, Indian Rupee, and then one last one, just for another example. Let's go somewhere else down here. Um, do, 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 do. Um, let's go for... Oh, so many to choose from, isn't it? Uh, Trinidad, Trinidadian dollar, just for lack of wasting any more time doing this. So go TDD. And obviously when we copy this formula down, it's then going to update for us. So a really simple way of doing that. And we can see that we've obviously got a very small amount of money here. So there you go. We can see the pence uh, value for that, trend, that conversion in row eight. Again, the benefit of this, obviously if I refresh this data, nothing's going to happen because it still has today's rates. But if we were to put in some incorrect information, so let's say for euro, let's say actually I'll put in there, I don't know, it's 50. So for each uh, pound, there's 50 euros, will be a nice conversion there. You can see at the moment that's completely blown out of proportion our calculation here. So it's saying that 120 pounds is the same as 6,000 euros. Obviously it's messed in our data here. So all I need to do here, what's, what works both, one, this demonstration really shows that obviously how it refreshes the data and obviously how it's gonna change. But ultimately if you then make mistakes or anything is overwritten in your table, all you need to do is refresh it to correct it. So you see what the 50 at the moment, if I simply refresh this, you can see that Excel will go off now, contact the xe.com website and pull through those new values. And there we have it. And this is not limited to just um, currency tables in this example, you can do this with any um, any other data source that you acquire upon. Obviously, depending on the website, there might be some formatting issues uh, as a potential, so it's, it's by no means a fail safe it's gonna work for every single thing, but it should work for 99% of the information you need. So if you're trying something and you find a new data source and you have a great result with it, please leave us a comment underneath this video because I'd love to hear about it and the scenarios that you, you found this beneficial and you used it in your own work. As I said at the beginning, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And also do subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got lots of videos already available, so check those existing ones out. But obviously hit that notification button as well, so you are notified as soon as our new videos come out. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.